A friend of mine told this weekend that she also felt so overwhelmed in summer. So I felt not alone anymore because I was so anxious and overwhelmed. I'm not from Germany, I'm from Brazil. So this is very new, this feeling of I have to do this now because just now is warm. If I don't do this now, I would just be able to do this next year. Like it puts a lot of pressure for going out, meeting friends and family and traveling and shows and football and Olympics. It was all at once. So yeah, I guess the first step to welcome these feelings, but also to slow down and to feel the coziness of autumn is decorating. And this is the first time decorating my home for real for fall because it's my second fall ever. And I went out, I bought new things. I like to collect stuff in the florists here around as well. And today we are gonna decorate. My husband decorated this and it is beautiful. Just a little spoiler of what is coming in the next video, which is this clay decoration that we also did. And hi, my cat. <laughs> Look at my cat. There's my cat and she's even this one. I tried to do this one about her. <laughs> right now I am reading this one here from Patti Smith and it is interesting because she's an artist and she went through a lot of stuff and it's really beautiful the way that she sees the word and write about it and she's still so real but still so out of this word. I do have here Freud which is in German I wanted to read so much someday. I also have some fantasy books like this one here, Kalt wie Schnee und Hart wie Eisen. And also this one that I bought recently. Some other books like just Sprichwörter. Here's so much of Deutsch, like Wie wir jetzt leben von Susan Sonntag and so many other books that I do want to read and go back to German. For the past months, maybe I was like abandoning German because I teach already German and I was like overwhelmed and trying to go to French, learn something new and... But now I do feel like I'm gonna stay more at home and German is like also a comfort zone for me because I already know German. So learning German is a learning process that not really takes so much for me anymore. I can learn just by reading a book and just reviewing or 
knowing new words. So it's a learning that is cozy and it matches for fall. So I am totally back in business with my German. And here are a few Deutsch Bücher, die ich so gerne lesen möchte. But the best of them is this one. I finally, finally, finally found Outlander in German. I feel like Outlander is so fall vibes. High mountains, Schottland, Scotland, and it is like magical and real. And yeah, I needed this book. This is what I'm reading in fall. I guess autumn puts me in a place of realizing what is my difficulties at the moment as well. And I feel like eating was pretty difficult and now I'm going back to eating and meeting professionals and paying more attention to what I eat and cooking more and eating more because I was not really eating. <laughs> so very personal stuff and very, I don't know, things that just seem so simple like living, eating, or slowing down, but for me they were pretty hard, so... As soon as autumn arrives, I also like to do a plan and this one is my new plan that I'm using, for example, in my iPad. I love Notion, I also love Google Calendar, but I'm more in a phase of using my iPad. I guess I really needed this idea of touching and doing more boards and collages just to feel more inspired. My planner starts like this, I just selected an image from Pinterest. And then some templates as well from Pinterest just to keep it more intentional. Like having insights and writing my reflections, not just my to-do lists, for example. I also put it here, nutrition. I found this template nice because I can also keep a track on what I'm eating. I'm sure you know this template already and if you don't and you just put daily planner on Pinterest, you will find it as well. They have water tracker, they have a mood tracker. That's why I started to use this one. For my whole week, I have this template here now and I don't know if I mentioned this already and maybe you know this app already, but I'm using GoodNotes. And I'm using like templates for the week that they already had in the app. This one here is my week. I basically also have this in my Google Calendar. And monthly, I'm also doing this. I just found so beautiful images on Pinterest 
So this is October because we're starting October now and I have a collage just simple but also meaningful for me and a whole idea of the month ahead. Just personal but also for example with my content for a work, what I have to do. This is all I have in my calendar but I like to keep it here as well. What I also like to have here is like astrological thinkings or tarot readings, just like a moon tracker or more my spirituality, I would say. So here I have some drawings and notes that I take from a tarot reading for this month. Also the moon phases, so I know what is going on and I like to write about it, how I'm feeling, what is happening in this cycle with me, just that I am not lost or I'm less loss. <laughs> On Pinterest basically I have a whole folder just for planners where I get templates but also just general inspirations and of course I also have one just for fall where I get inspirations for recipes but also just visual for my planners, for my boards and what I could wear, how I can decorate my home, all of this. Based on this iPad planner, I also have a new Notion template. I always like to change my Notion. If you want to check it out, I have it here linked in the video. Strikken already teach me a lot <laughs> about it as well. I basically am not doing this for the final product. I can destroy it and start over. Like, and I started this over like <laughs> five times. So, yeah, maybe it's gonna be a very nice shot. But if not, who cares? <laughs> So yeah, this one here is one that my husband did. It's so beautiful. 